Hey, this is Charlie from sexwithcharlie.com. Today I'm going to talk about long-term relationships and sex. Stay tuned for this very good video. Okay, I'm talking about long-term relationships and sex. And yes, I know many people say, hey, I got married and I'm in long-term relationships, now I don't have sex and I, you know, my sex life is gone to the garbage. If you have kids, ah, my sex life is gone. Uh, there's nothing more, uh, we don't have sex, we have sex once a month. Um, that's the typical complaint of many people that have long-term relationships. And, and that's okay, and, and it can be solved, because it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 you can actually solve it. It's, it's your decision to solve it or not. Um, because many of those people, they are wishing all the time to be back to the single, the single uh, atmosphere, the single state. Uh, I can do whatever I want, I can have sex with whatever I want. But once they start doing that for a while, they start to find that there's no meaning in what they do. And, and they start to actually want to be back in a relationship, which is absolutely crazy. Not crazy, but it absolutely makes no sense to me. Um, so, of course, if, if you're in a long-term relationship that doesn't work, of course, maybe you have to, to go back to single because it doesn't work, there's no love there and it, it's, it needs to be break, broken, but that's a different decision, it's a different video, okay? That's, that's, something, you know, that's something that you know what you have to do. But if there's love, and, you know, sex can be so much better when there's love, and some people, you know, because they don't have as much sex, now they're thinking that if they were single, that would be better. But when they're single, sex has no meaning. And this is a little bit about what I want to talk about in this video, about meaning in sex and sex, and, and the importance of meaning in sex. Why? Um, you see, uh, things are pleasure uh, comes from the attachment, from from the, the emotional tag that we give to a certain act. Let's say I'm going to kiss a person passionately, and if you have no feelings for that person, if you don't have any attraction for that person, if you have nothing for that person, you can kiss that person, and you will not feel nothing. You probably will feel sort of like, "Ooh, I don't want to be doing this." But if you do that with another person that you actually love or that you actually are attracted to or that you actually have feelings for, suddenly this is the most pleasurable moment of your life. So it's not the act what makes it pleasurable. It's not the act of doing something. And I can go to having sex. Yeah, of course, you're going to have an orgasm. Maybe you can have an orgasm with someone that you don't care about. And it will be a physical, small, very short act of pleasure that will actually, it can actually lead to a feeling of emptiness actually at the end, especially for women. They, they feel empty if they have sex uh, with people they don't love. And men, we may be a bit different in that, but we also have that type of feeling as well. We feel that there's no purpose in it, and then we have to go for another one and then for another one because there's no limit to that. Now, when there's love, when there's an attraction for that person, when there's feelings for that, for that person, that act of having sex, of having an orgasm, of, of doing everything that you do during the sex act starts to have meaning. And, and, and the meaning is that you actually love that person and you attach uh, that emotional attack to that act. And when you have sex with that person, you actually feel complete, you feel like you love that person, you intimate with that person much more, your relationship deepens when you have sex with that person or kiss that person. And, and that's the difference between having sex with someone that you don't love and someone that you really love. And, and believe me, I've, I've done both, and I'm not saying that everybody has to be the same as me. Uh, I'm, I'm talking as a man. Men, we are supposed to be like trying to hunt a woman all the time. Um, I don't believe that it has to be that way, honestly. I don't believe that it has to be that way because, because at the end, I've, I've been single and I've been married and I've been in, in serious relationships for, for a few times in my life. And I've been so much better in those relationships. Of course, it has problems. That we have had problems, and, and suddenly sex is not there so often, and suddenly you know we don't have that many intimate moments. But that's something that you can solve. That's something that you can do something about. And if you truly love that person, you can do actually do something about it and, and start doing things. Uh, you know, I've, I've put video. I can put a video here of, of how to recover your sexual life and how to uh, do things to make your 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 life better. Um, so you can actually do something about it. But it's so important to really uh, do things with a meaning. And that's my part because because if you do things without meaning, you, you fall into 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 sort of like a state of of you don't care about anything, of even of 
people fall into a, a sense of depression because nothing has a meaning for them. And meaning is very important in life. Very, very important. Uh, giving meaning to all the things we do. Giving uh, attached emotional tag to all those things that we do that make us feel good. And, and in terms of relationships, that's the same way. In terms of relationships and sex, is the same way. So this is my, my view of why sex and love uh, are so much, much better than just sex for itself. Because, because um, the meaning, the, the, the spiritual meaning that you can, if you can say spiritual if you want, or you can call it whatever you want to call it, uh, is so much deeper and, and has so much more sense uh, in the long term. Uh, you're going to be a much better person, you're going to be much happier, you're going to be much fulfilled. Uh, you're going to be, you're going to feel much better about yourself if you're doing things with a meaning. Uh, because just having sex for sex, yeah, it can give you a very short time of pleasure, of course, of, yeah, yeah, having an orgasm is great. But having an orgasm with meaning, with, with, with someone that you love, with, with, uh, with an intention, uh, with the intention of giving, love, giving and receiving at the same time, that makes sex so much better. And I cannot stress that enough. And, and I'm not trying to <laughs> convince anybody. I'm, I'm expressing my, my view of this. And, uh, and I'm just sharing it with you. Hopefully that can help you. Maybe you're in a moment of your life that you're trying to change something or that you're, I don't know, you're debating about, you know, whether, you know, if I'm doing the right things in my life or not. Uh, if you're in, in love with someone and you're thinking, wow, I wish I had this other thing, uh, believe me, if, if, there's, if, if, you, if, you, if it really is worth what you have, you should, should, should work for it. You should fight for it. You should try to to make it work because your life is going to be so much better because at the end humans we we want to feel loved and many people that have sex casual sex with people is because they want to feel loved and that's the reason why they do it and and you're you're kidding yourself if you think it's not it's okay you can you can do say whatever you want you can think about whatever you want but if you, you're looking for love and for and for recognition, you you want to feel loved and you want to feel uh, have significance. When you, when you have sex with someone all the time, you you just want one one one. You, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for approval. You're looking for love. You're looking for acceptance from the other person. And you do that through sex. But at the end, that's what you're looking for. And that's so much more profound than just having sex. So at the end, if you have a, a long-term relationship, you can have everything. You have the sex part, which is great, but you also can have the other part, which has a lot of meaning and will make you happier as a person. Because at the end, we all want love. That's all we want in life. We, we are here to be loved. And uh, this gets a bit spiritual, I know, but this is truly what I believe. So... Um, that this, I'm talking to everybody, women and men here. Uh, I know men; they're more into the, uh, you know, they're, maybe they're more promiscuous. They, they, they are like, you know, we men, we are like the hunters, and, and yeah, okay, we we come from there, uh, long history for the humankind. But at this time of evolution, where our conscious is totally different, and we know exactly what we're here for, and we have, a, um, you know, we we have other things in life, not just the basic things. Uh, I think uh, we should strive for, for that, for, 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 for being fulfilled in all terms, um, not only uh, physical needs, which is sex, uh, but also give an, a, a spiritual or a love or a, a more deep attachment to what sex is. Sex uh, can be very, very uh, profound and can be very, very intimate and can connect two people completely. So I'm not going to talk about uh, this anymore. I think I've got uh, my point across here. I hope that you like this video. If you like it, please give it two thumbs up. Um, I'll leave you, subscribe to my channel down here somewhere in this button. If you have not done so, you can receive videos like this every week. And uh, visit my blog down here where you can find more about sex, love, and how to become the best lover. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.